Today is a very special day. Today we are going to be modifying Nate's 2016 WRX. Now, for those of you who don't know who Nate is, Nate is our social media manager. He's been with us for over three years, and a lot of the stuff that you guys see is a result of all of his hard work. So we want to repay him, and we know that he's been wanting to modify this car for so long. So we have a mountain of parts inside to modify it. But just like Sean's truck, we had an issue with the truck. I slammed the front into this pole. Just kidding, Sean. We're pimping out your truck. Woo! And Victor's E30, we have to play a little trick on him. Victorino! Hey! Let's go to the garage real quick. <laughs> Vic? What the? That's where I come in. I'm gonna take his air out of his tire. I'm gonna get his reaction and see what he does. That will allow us to get his keys and bring his car into the shop so we can surprise him with a huge mountain of parts. Let's get into it. Let's do it. <laughs> Hope he doesn't hear that. <laughs> oh yeah, she's going down. These low pro tires, you can't even tell. I took all the air out and it looks low, but it doesn't look flat, flat. And there's literally no air in it. This low pro tire. So I'm just gonna have to tell him that it looks like it's got low tire pressure and then we'll see what happens. I got the keys from Nate. That was very easy. The flat tire obviously was very convincing. As you notice, this car is already semi-modified, but talking to Sean, which is actually the man holding the camera, or well, he told us that Nate's been trying to do different mods, like upgrade in a different way. That's where we come in. So we decided to do that for him. Oops. This car is very low. Sorry, Nate. So now we're going to drive her over. We're going to stage it in our thumbnail area. And you guys are going to get to see everything we have for him, which is actually quite a few parts for us just uh, bringing it up to uh, the 2023 status, right? All right, so we have 90% of the parts right on this wall. We're going to stage it right now before uh, Nate comes in here. Uh, hey. Did it work? Yeah. Did you fall for it? Yep. Was he suspicious at all? I don't think so. I don't think so. Like he just he was okay. like freaked out because he drove from his house here with a flat tire. Okay. Okay. So, okay. But you know, he really Does he had to come out here and like start asking questions and stuff, or you told me you got I it? I told him like okay. I'm on like just a, a basic flat and let me take a look at it, give me thirty minutes and then I'll, I'll come back. <laughs> okay. You know, All right, so, let's get these So we got thirty out. minutes. Just got all the parts laid out for Nate's Subaru. It looks oh, awesome. Man. We actually have more parts than I thought we did. Which I know. Is really I thought cool. we had like maybe five or six. That's a <laughs> it's lot a of lot. parts. Dude. So we're gonna go grab Evan. We're gonna go surprise Nate. Let's go. Nate dog. You're not gonna believe what they just found. Oh, your, car. Your, car sucks. <laughs> dude, your tire is so bad. You actually cracked your wheel and your tire is unrepairable. Are you serious? Yeah. Sorry, dude. Really? Any spare wheels or anything? No. Socks? We're going to have Ricky weld. I feel like you guys are really bad. I feel like you guys are messing with me. Nah, dude. It's really bad. It's, dude, it's so bad that I have a throttle clip video fucking <laughs> coming up right now. <laughs> That's how bad it is. Damn, you guys trying to roast me right now? Is that what you're filming? When's the last time you changed those tires? Uh, like five months ago? To, to be honest, the outside didn't look so bad, but the insides are all. Uh, no way! Yeah! Yeah! Let's go! 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 let us go let us go Sitting there, I'm like, damn, no one's right, working. So if there's something it. you don't like, you can blame Sean because yeah. he's the one that helped us pick up with the <laughs> no, parts. No, no, no. <laughs> hey, check it out. So Holy walk around, dude. Check out the parts. What is this? We got EWE. Yep. Yo. Ooh. Oh, I didn't even see that. <laughs> damn. Front lip. Holy sh. This is crazy. Hey, you're a PD, bro. Sorry, sorry, you're gonna have to bleep that. All right, so Saban, carbon fiber hood, front lip, side skirts. Side skirts? 
We got an AWE Catback exhaust. We got some Perrin goodies, <laughs> strut bars. We we wanted to go clean and simple, so they make tons of different colors, but we went with that nice wrinkle black. Got the fender shrouds, Mishimoto, some new coilovers for you. you know, some OEM, OEM Audio some Plus. Class. We got some clap suspension right now. OEM Audio Plus came through with a, that clean sub for the trunk. Got sick. Uh, this is really cool. It's the Morimoto four banger kit for your fog lights. So replace the fog lights. Looks OEM, but it's so much brighter. LED bulbs. And then right here, oh, some baby. new wheels for you. 18 by nine and a half. ET 35 is perfect. 2015 and up WRX and STI. This color is sick. Did you, 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 you ask for that? This color is yeah. sick. It's it's a good. Color. I, I think if you could think of like, what's the most Subaru combo, that bronze with the World Rally right. Blue. Right, right, yeah. I think it's gonna look great. And then of course we got some Falcon Ooh, Zenith. 265. Are you ready for the meat? 265, dude? let's do it. Are you it. ready? Cause yeah. you're on a little stretch right now. Uh, they are super stretched. I don't know. They're super stretched. We'll just say that. Are those line parts? <laughs> we're those we're line moving them over. Pretty to much. The, yeah. Pretty much. Moving them over to the music. So. so, so one other thing that you've expressed a lot over the past three years is that you would always prefer to have paint over wrap. So we were gonna oh, wrap 100%. it, and then we're like, no, let's fix up this paint. So we have Eric coming over. He's gonna do a full, massive paint correction, buff oh, yeah. ceramic oh, coat. Yeah. The World Rally Blue is gonna really pop. It's gonna look awesome. <laughs> Congrats, dude. Congrats, dude. Congrats, dude. Thank, thank you, you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks, Let's Brett. Go. You too can be like Nate and own a Subaru WRX. Whether we're looking for a personal car, a new build for the channel, or an epic sweepstakes car, Auto Tempest is how we find it. Subarus are extremely popular and shopping for a low mileage, clean example can be extremely difficult. This is where Auto Tempest comes in. Autotempest.com scours the vast expanse of the internet and searches through powerhouses like Carvana, TrueCar, Cars.com, and many more to find the exact car you're looking for. Auto Tempest grants you the power to fine tune your search to perfection. You can narrow down the options by year, color, trim, and a ton of other other factors. It's like having a personalized automotive genie at your service, granting your every car related wish. Auto Tempest makes car shopping simple. If you want to get into a fun new or used car like Nate's WRX, a Mark V Supra, or something like an old classic BMW E36, you know where to find it. Head straight to autotempest.com. Another great thing about Auto Tempest is they just launched their app. Now available for Apple and Android, which makes it so much more convenient to search for your next project car. Trust us boys here at Throttle, the car of your dream awaits and Auto Tempest is the key to finding your next project car or daily driving. finished with cleaning the car. We used a waterless wash and now we're going to clay it to remove all the bug stuff and, and everything that needs to be taken off. So we're all finished with the clay bar, got all the contaminants off and now we're just going to get started on the uh, polishing. The car's finished now, it's looking great. We did our single stage uh, paint correction and now we're just gonna put a ceramic coating on to protect the finish. So I'm gonna start off with all of our carbon fiber by Savon. So I'm gonna start with the front lip then we're gonna move into the side skirts, get the hood on, let's get this installed. We're gonna pull the front bumper off. It's gonna make fitting the lip a lot easier and we're also gonna be replacing the fog light with some new Morimoto ones. So I'm gonna get Ricky, who's over there walking away from me. We're gonna pull the front bumper off. I 
Sabon lip is looking really good. The Sabon lip actually has some more holes in it, so we're actually gonna rib nut the bumper and kind of suck in the rest of this gap, and it's gonna close it off a little bit better, and it'll actually stay a lot better on the car, which is cool. So we're gonna flip it over. I push pinned it so we can get a first full look at it, but also it's gonna tell me where my holes need to be. We're gonna go through, drill the bumper, rib nut it, and then put it back on for the final time. Big moment right here, Quinn just finished up the front lip. You ready? The first time we're gonna see it all buttoned up. Damn, son, that's proper. It looks so good. Damn, that's sick. Did it suck up nice? Yeah, it did. Oh yeah, it's it like did. real proper all along the yeah, edge. That's Hell sick. yeah. Woo, Damn. let's go, dude. Hell yeah, good job. Next up, we have a set of Morimoto four banger fog lights and two stroke LED bulbs. We're gonna replace in the factory fog light system in this. This setup's gonna be super bright. It's gonna look awesome. Let's get it on. Carbon fiber save on lip is installed. Our four banger fog lights are installed. Time to get this bumper back on the car. Hood, hood's next. Hood's next. We're doing the hood next. Hey, the hood's coming off. Bumper's on, hood's next. I'm helping out Quinn. It's cool to work hey. on my own car here. Hey, and it's clocking in. I'm clocking in. Hood is on, That's baby. A mighty proud hood scoop, huh? Oh. It looks way better from the front than I thought it was going to. I thought the scoop was gonna be way too tall, but from like straight on the front, it doesn't look bad at all. It looks really nice. So this hood is actually WRX STI Type RA style carbon hood, which is really cool. I think that's why this is so big, kind of rally style. It's like mega rally you style. show dude. them the little, the little cows, is that what they call it? Yeah, the heat extraction vents, and you got a bench. big one on the back. Pretty sick. Spicy. Super sick. I love this. Spicy. Spicy. And it fits great. Look at this. Look at this, boys. Perfect. We didn't adjust it at all. We literally just bolted it down where it was, and that's how it landed. So great, dude. Good shape. What do we got next, Quinn? Next up, we're doing the side skirts. Side skirt extension that was on previously is now off. It's got some few cracks in it. We're actually gonna be replacing this with a new save on carbon fiber skirt extension. So let's get those on. All of our carbon fiber bits are installed. The side skirts, the front lip, and the hood. It looks amazing. So now we're gonna move on to the next thing. It is time for me to jump in on this WRX for Nate. This is for you, baby. What I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna be installing the OEM Audio Plus system, and this is what I have. We have a couple of amplifiers. We have our full harness kit, which is extremely big. We have a couple of tweeters and a subwoofer enclosure. This thing is gonna look and sound amazing by the time I'm done with this. So let's get into it. First up, we're gonna sign the trunk. I'm gonna disassemble everything from there and then we'll move on to our rondo car. Look, 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 look. What the hell is nothing, that? nothing is attached here. Nothing. Thank you. You're making my you're making my making my homework way easier. First harness going in is gonna be the subwoofer enclosure one to the amplifier. We're gonna zip tie it right here. And from here, we are gonna transfer this one under that brace all the way through to the passenger side area because under the passenger seat, that's where the amplifiers are gonna be located and this needs to be able to reach there. So let's get it done. Next up is gonna be the harness that goes from the amplifier to the stereo and then to the battery. It's a long harness. Jeez. <laughs> All right, so this goes in the back of the stereo, this goes to the battery, and this goes under the seat, which attaches to the amplifiers, provided by OEM Audio Plus.
Now that the amplifiers are installed, the next step is going to be running the remaining of the harness pretty much through the glow box. Once we get to the stereo, we're going to have to plug in half of this thing and then we're going to keep going across over to the engine bay to the battery, which means I got to take this off, this off, this off, this off, this off, this off, and then that off through the firewall into the battery and then, and then we should be able to start testing. Okay, so off camera. <laughs> Oh, Pay attention, hold the camera. <laughs> Stop, Sean. <laughs> Alright, so off camera. Dino! Hey! Ah! Off camera. I <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. Alright, so off camera, I ended up running both power wires through the firewall, up to the fender, right through here. Don't worry about this. All this is gonna be replaced. You see right here, everything looks like if it's OEM. It looks like normal, but it's not normal aftermarket. Now we're gonna move to the back. Next step, I'm gonna be putting everything back together, and then the subwoofer will go right through here, and that's already a rib now that I've already installed. I have to show you. Come here. Speaker gets removed. A little tiny hole here. And it's gonna be a nice big bolt that goes through there, holds it in place, and we'll be able to plug it in. And then, I'm pretty sure we can test the subwoofer and install the tweeters. One last thing left to do before we start doing testing, it is putting the base knob on. Completely forgot about it, I just saw it. Well, Nate saw it on the counter and he chose the little fuse cover right in here. Kind of hidden. Oh, that's sick. Completely it's hidden. It's like a little compartment. You yeah, just open it. it'll open yeah. up, adjust it, and then he'll be ready to go. Dang, that's slick. You pop now you see it? In. Boom. That's dope. dope. I like that. That's it, OEM oh yeah, Mario Plus install, on to the next thing. Next up, we're gonna move into mounting our wheels and tires. We've got our Motegi wheels on the tire machine here. Let's get them mounted up. Next up, we have some engine bay dress up bits by Perrin. We have a strut bar, which is actually gonna stiffen the front end a little bit. We also have these guys, which replace the carpeted ones that are on the car currently. They kind of look weird. And this is a very nice aluminum piece that's gonna replace that, dress it up, clean it up. We also have a radiator shroud deck lid cover that goes over the front of it. We're gonna wait to install that until the radiator's in. And then we're gonna be hitting the engine bay with some Meguiar's hyper dressing because it looks old and crusty. And this stuff is really gonna make it shine. So we're gonna freshen the engine bay up. Let's get to it.
coming for our AWE Touring Exhaust System. This is a quad tip system. The car currently has a twin tip, just a standard dual setup on it. So we're gonna pull that off, get this beautiful exhaust on, let's go. to take off my diffuser. He doesn't like it no more. The whole diffuser just I don't I wouldn't say I don't like it. No, 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 all of it. All take, of it. Take bro, it off. everything out. Take it all off. Full mod, baby. It's not gonna look sick. Bro, what? look at this. I like this diffuser. I think it looks cool. I just, I wanna run the car really low. We have custom BC coilovers, and I wanna slam it. Take it off. This right. thing just, dude, it hits everywhere. Bro, if you can tell, it, it hits so everywhere. It's straight, bro. This it's is easier. already clapped. If you look at the edge of it, it's just plastic. It's just ABS plastic. Super cheap. All right, it's coming off. Ricky. The point is very mad right now. Ricky, who's exhaust? Yours. Mine. So who's box? Hmm? Probably yours. Ah, uh, so mine. So what comes in the box? A lollipop. A very delicious they have a lollipop. Cut out specifically for the lollipop. And also cut up for your fingers to grab that lollipop. So what I did, I utilized the space for the fingers to go and grab the lollipop, grabbed it, I opened it, and then I tricked Quinn and I put the wrapper back in here. <laughs> I put it back in there. So Quinn went like this, and there was nothing there. Ha! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Let's get these tips on, baby! <laughs> Our AWE Touring exhaust system is installed. We're gonna fire it up and see what this exhaust sounds like. Let's go. Perfect. How's it sound inside? It sounds deep in the car, right? It sounds deep. Nice. Dude, the tips look way better. It like completely fills out that lower portion too. It's really nice. I do like the contrast between the blue oh, and the tips. This. And not to mention how thin this pipe is. The original pipe is very thin. I mean, you probably gain double the size. That's what she said. You're definitely gonna feel the difference. That's what she said. On the road. Now it's time for our wheel and tire package. We have a Motegi MR147 in bronze. This is an 18 by nine and a half. We have it wrapped in a 265 35 R18 Falcon Azenus RT660. Let's get these on the car and get the car on the ground. That's why I like you saying that because I would have been like 18 by nine and a half Motegi wheel with RT660s. Let's go. See that? Two seconds. Same information. You gotta say all the specs though. It's, it's that color. wide, that beautiful color, and it sticks. Look, 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 look at this. What the heck? <laughs> Whatever that was. Quinn! Wait, you gotta help me. I don't know what that was. I can't do it by myself. Oh, wait, I've been going to the gym. Watch. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> I'm done. Let's get the wheels on. Goes around, let's get this thing on the ground. Feels look really good, man. It's a very classic Subaru look. I do think we need to lower it in the back, though. We need to bring it down, but I like it. Looks really good. The offset, money. Nailed it. Looks great. See, did you hear that? Nailed it. 18, nine and a half, 35 is literally perfect spec for 2015 and up WRX. In fact, even older WRXs, this fitment looks really good, but 265 all around. You're coming from a 215 or 225? 225. 225. Looks like a real Subi now, bro. Bronze, looks really good. Bronze on the wheel rally blue, dude. Becky spec, baby. Cam 
Chamber Nate. It's a little bit bro. crusty, brother. Oh, wow, some tines. Some tines. Nothing wrong with ah, So this is one thing that people, oh wow. What's that, up with that? That mount is, uh, is gone. So a lot of people have problems saying Tain. It's Tain, not Tyne. Tyne. It's not T-N. T-N. A lot of people say T-N. Tain. Tain. You know what it stands for? No. Technical Innovation. T-E-I-N. In Japan, they do a lot of acronyms. Yeah. That's what Tain stands for. Now you know. Floppy tops, dude. No good. We have our BC Racing VR Series coilovers installed. These are extreme low, so we're gonna go ahead and throw the wheel and tire package back on, put it on the ground, and see where we're at. We're probably gonna need to make some right height adjustments because the spindle height looks like it's a lot lower than it was with the Tane, so I think the car's gonna be a lot lower. So let's get them on and start adjusting the height on this thing. This car is so stiff, bro. It's not even moving. Watch, watch. Let me do that, and you watch. Like the movement is coming from the tire. You want a 24k spring, right, buddy? Damn. <laughs> we could go lower. Now we could go lower, dude. It doesn't move at all. That's crazy, dude. Our Mishimoto stuff just arrived. Start off, we have a radiator here. Oh yeah. Look at that. Beauty. Brand new. Full aluminum end tanks. No plastic. And we also have an oil cooler kit here. So here's some critical components of our oil cooler kit. We have a sandwich plate. This is gonna go underneath the oil filter. It's gonna allow us to run to and lines, which are these guys here. And of course we have the cooler itself, which is a beautiful black cooler. We're gonna get this mounted up. We do have to pull the front bumper up to mount this and get the cooler set up. So we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna drain the radiator, get this radiator in, let's go. We have the factory radiator out here. Now, the reason we like to upgrade them is because of these plastic end tanks. After heat cycles of heating up and cooling down, sometimes they will start to leak at the junction where the aluminum meets the plastic. That bonded section just doesn't really hold up that well over time, especially if you're pushing the car hard. Also, plastic can crack when it gets really old. Luckily, this car is not super old, but it is starting to get there, so we're gonna go ahead and replace it. So we're gonna pull the factory fans up, set them up on the new radiator. I'm gonna wipe them down because they're dusty, and we'll get this thing in the car. Mishimoto radiator going in. Mishimoto radiator is installed and before we finalize it, I actually want to move into our oil cooler and get this mounted up. I don't know if we have to move some things or re-disassemble the cooling system to install this. I don't think we should, but just to be sure, we're going to go ahead and mount this up, get it dialed in, and then we'll finalize the cooling system. All right, Quinn's got the sandwich plate on and I'm gonna help him run these lines through here, which my understanding is that they go right next to the headlight somewhere in here. That's what I'm working on while he preps the cooler.
Cooling system is finished on the WRX. It's holding temp very well. Everything is working as it should. Now we're gonna install the last piece in the engine bay for this car, which is the Cobb Redline Cold Air Carbon Fiber Intake System for this car. Really nice piece, very beautiful intake box, very complete kit. We do sell Cobb after all. If you guys are interested in picking up one of these intakes, we're also adding an access port to this car. Let's get to it. Stock intake is off. Here's some of the piping for it and compare that against the new Cobb stuff. Looks really nice. So now we're gonna start assembling this. We need to get this piece in first and we can attach it all up to the turbo. We just laid the intake in, it looks sick. The carbon fiber finish is amazing. This placard is a really nice touch. Overall, it's a very good aesthetic for the engine bay. So we still have to put the induction pipe in, the air filter on, we gotta bolt it down, so let's keep going. All right, Quinn just grabbed me and said he finished the intake install and damn, damn this thing looks sick. Dude, it looks hot, huh? That looks like crazy. the Cobb stuff, it fits amazing. Like the spacing, the way it's set up, really good. I followed the instructions to a T on this one and it worked out perfectly. This thing is beautiful, dude. This is like a machined piece here. Looks so amazing. Yeah. And it's got like some felt, like rubber felt on the underside so it doesn't like rub against the carbon when it's on here. Like it won't vibrate or anything. Really nice piece. Cobb always makes really good stuff and they provide really good instructions, which is really cool. And my favorite one was step 12. Yeah, so you pretty much stick on the stuff that's under this. And uh, step 12 is dispose of remaining portion of gasket appropriately. And they suck it on, yeah. So we got mine disposed of properly. Right there, Ricky, come here. Oh my God. Come here. We need your help. This is how it comes. So it comes as like one molded piece like that. Whoa. And then and then you take the, the center ring out and the outer ring out, and then you install that on this cap so it doesn't vibrate mm -hmm. and then you're left with that other center ring and then you got to dispose of that properly did you guys put one turn on my back turn around did turn you around <laughs> okay ah, i got it <laughs> soon as i saw that i was like this freaking guy all right comment takes installed we got to reinstall the front bumper let's go Here we have our Cobb access port. This is a must have if you're into Subarus. We're gonna get this thing in. It's gonna allow us to run the Cobb intake better. It's gonna make it sound better. The airflow is gonna be better. The overall performance of this car is gonna be better. So let's get this thing installed. We live, baby, we live. Except, right, we're gonna go key on two. Stage one plus red line map. Stage one plus red line, 91. The access ports are awesome. All the software is already uploaded onto the access ports. So all we do is plug it in and we're ready to reflash. Really cool stuff. Cobb makes this so easy. It's so simple to use these things and it's extremely effective on these cars. I love these Cobb access ports. They're a must have if you have a Subaru. Need to drive it, dude. Yeah, we need to go for a spin. Yeah, we do. Let's go take this thing for a drive. Uh, she's a stiff girl, she's huh? She's a stiff girl. Go wide, yeah, go wide. Not rubbing. Not rubbing, that's a good thing. Not friend. rubbing. We got the access port loaded up on this. That's all set up. <laughs> oh, it's not terrible. It's not brutal, but Everyone it is. thinks this is gonna be really bad, but. Nah, this road is honestly really terrible. This is one so. of the worst, this is the worst like, road one that of the worst I drive roads. every day. Yeah. So, it's a good test. 
The exhaust is much quieter right off the bat. It is. Much quieter than my previous. Everyone was kind of like trying to get in my head about the spring rate. It's not as bad as everyone hyped it up to be. Everyone was kind of scared for me saying like, oh, it's gonna be really stiff and like, you're not gonna like it, but this is sick. This is great. Feels good? Yeah. Oh, a little intake noise there. <laughs> you hear the turbo pump up and down? Yeah, that cob intake sounds good. Wow, that's louder than I thought it was gonna yeah. be, the induction noise. Way louder. You come to hear it blow off too? Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. How sick. The steering is insane now. It's like exactly what I wanted. You feel that? Wow, she's it's responsive. Direct, Holy like very crap. responsive. A little pop? <laughs> she feels good, dude. Dude, it's pop. Do you hear it popping? Yeah, I did. Shifts? I did. Sick. First gear pull. Damn, this thing is sick. <laughs> Oh, I'm so stoked. I'm glad you're happy with it, dude. That's awesome. That's gonna be it for today's episode, guys. We got Nate's WRS completely transformed. It turned out amazing. What do you think, brother? I love it. I think it turned out awesome. So thank you. Thank you, Ricky. The best part about it is that Nate actually got to do some work and you got to film most of it. Yeah, which yeah, is yeah. Pretty cool. Which was your favorite part out of the day? My favorite part, honestly, ah, it's so hard to say. There's so many. The intake is really cool because it's fully carbon fiber. Cool. The uh, Cobb access port's really cool, really help the car open up and feel a lot better on the road. And then the BC coilover. You went game for a ride with me yep. and is a total game changer. We can go lower if we want, so I'm really stoked. It's hard to pick. I yeah. feel that. That's it for today's video. I'm wondering who's gonna be next. See ya.